Hi guys, Greg at Mesh Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a short track 7 by 22 foot 9900 pound GVW car hauler. Everything you see in this particular unit standard equipment except for the rub rail. I wanted to kind of showcase that because this 22 and 24 foot size in a 10,000 GVW very common among UTV and ATV guys. Some guys want the optional 102 deck. Shown here would be the more traditional 7 foot wide making this great for the guy that's again got two buggies normally they average about 10 foot 10 and a half you get a little bit of space between them if you get a little bit longer ones you can overhang a little bit off the back and over the bulkhead in the front and then again i just want to showcase the rub rail that we add to these gives you some added flexibility short track does a very nice punch plate hook style ramp uh, it's actually designed to be finger jointed you'll see here they actually fit down in that would prevent it from going forward to back side to side but if you ever want to load, uh, say, ATVs, it would probably be by far and away the most likely thing, and run them across the trailer, which most ATVs would fit, uh, that is why we've added the rub rail. That and the rub rail certainly gives you a lot more tie-down options. Standard equipment on this would be stake pockets, and then you've got the D-rings um, in the four corners, ideal for tying down cars or light trucks or equipment. So again, 7 by 22 foot. Uh, this is available in different GVWs. Most common here would be the 10K. Um, we can also uh, do 7 or 14,000 pound. Something this size would be a little bit heavy empty weight for a 7 GVW. Like I say, 10,000 pound uh, seems to be about the perfect size. So let's start out up front. Trailer's got a traditional 2 and 5 16 inch coupler. It is a stamp style. It's got the 7,000 pound setback drop leg jack. Now, I like the 7K jacks because one, uh, you got serviceability with the grease dirt there. It's also a bolt-on style, so if you mess it up, uh, simply a matter of unbolting the plate and put a new one on or unbolt it, and you can weld another one onto that plate. So it's got uh, two adjustments. You've got an inner sleeve that has uh, about five holes in it. Then you've also got the outer sleeve here that would adjust via the top line handle. Drop like jack makes it to where you don't really ever need any sort of wood or, or similar to put underneath. Uh, you got plenty of adjustment there. Safety chains are standard equipment. It's got a built-in holder. Kind of nice setup. Some guys will also uh, just throw them up front there. Standard safety uh, breakaway system as well. Breakaway battery. Now you notice Short Track does sealed wiring harnesses on these standard. <clears throat> they also do a built-in uh, plug guard. Standard 7-pin blade RV styles on most trucks nowadays. Sealed wiring harness running back the inside of the A-frame. So they do do a, a bulkhead on these standard. Kind of a nice setup up front. I also like that Short Track puts the D-rings in a traditional placement for a car. A lot of times we see D-rings that are placed over here by a stake pocket where you already have a tie down. Makes a lot more sense if you're tying down your small, mid-sized compact tractors or cars. Uh, you got tie downs up front and you also have them on the sides here. So you notice it is a traditional five inch channel tongue and frame. That would be pretty industry standard on 10,000 GVWs. Now a lot of times you've got <coughs> uh, smooth fenders on the uh, car haulers. Uh, on this they've elected to go a little heavier duty. It has a double broke tread plate fender. Uh, nice setup. It's also got a weld-on fender. Some of our brands do removable, some do weld-on. There's benefits and drawbacks to both. Uh, weld-on fenders aren't quite as easily replaceable, but they don't shake, rattle, and roll uh, over time. And this one is a little bit heavier. It's also got the fender gusset, which protects it a little bit better. A little harder to, to destroy a fender if you've got the, uh, the gusseted protection. Also gives you, uh, from a liability standpoint, I don't believe you can call it a sidestep, but it fits the... Uh, the uh, toe of your shoe nicely. 225.75 R15 8 ply load range D radial tire standard equipment on a 15 inch silver wagon. It's got the newer style FSA or forward self adjust brakes on it standard so very similar to a car. It's going to self tension throughout the life of the uh, of the brake assembly. Now when you go to a 10k GVW such as this you're going to upgrade to the 12 inch brakes instead of the traditional 10-inch uh, brakes you would get on a 3,500-pound axles. 12-inch brakes are actually shared with the 6 and 7K axles as well, so you got a lot of braking on the uh, 10Ks. Also notice the green cap. That would be a nitrogen-filled tire on these. Uh, it's currently standard equipment. 
It's also got the easy lube hubs. So if you look, the black cap on the end of the uh, hub there, simply pull that off. You can normally do it with your fingers or flat bladed screwdriver. Behind there's a greaser. You can service your own bearings um, with regular uh, household tools. So a 22 footer on this is gonna be 20 foot of flat deck. You've got a two foot beaver tail. A uh, little detail we like on the short track trailer would be the tread plate beaver tail. A lot in the industry are gonna do wood. If you're hauling cars or similar, it just uh, makes it if you get hung up there with headers or similar, it's gonna keep on going a little easier, less friction than you would have with the wood. Uh, probably my favorite feature on this trailer would have to be the ramps. These punch plate ramps, I'm not really aware of too many in the industry having a ramp set up like this. Uh, the finger jointed is nice. They don't slide side to side, front to back. It's also uh, a five foot ramp, so you got a good transition angle. It's a knife edge at the rear, so it tapers down to where you're only about one inch at the rear of the ramp. Punch plate, this gives you excellent traction going up. Now being a 10K, uh, there is some extra reinforcement uh, in this particular ramp where the 7K is built just a little bit lighter, so the 10K has a little bit heavier ramp to accommodate that extra payload. Speaking of payload, trailer's gonna weigh in at about 2,500 uh, empty. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 7,500 left of the trailer. You're also gonna pick up a little bit on the truck side. Normally, conservatively, you can figure tongue weight at about 10%. We do stock this particular unit in a steel deck as well. The steel deck is an entirely different trailer than the wood deck. It's not the same trailer just with steel on it. But if you're hauling a show car or some guys hauling operable cars, they do tend to prefer the steel deck for general merchandise and for general freight. Uh, guys do seem to prefer the wood. Spare tire mount in the passenger side in front of the fender standard. Decking on this is a 2 by 8 pressure treated. Suspension on this is an eye to eye with equalizer. One detail we like on short track between the, uh, the tongue and the frame and fender backers and similar, they take the time to seal the joints up so you can keep uh, corrosion out of those areas as long as possible. It's inevitable it's gonna get there eventually, but sealing those out will definitely help for a period of time. This particular unit is uh, blasted and then powder coated. It has a nice clean looking finish. Lights on this are the newer style bullet LED lights. Everything is an LED, it's all sealed, grounded, etc. So it's available in different sizes. We stock it in a 24 foot, uh, 20 foot 10K would probably be the most common. Also do an 18 foot 10K as well. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.